Oh, a really, really busy day for the Baltimore Ravens. It's been a busy day around the league just in general, but for the Baltimore Ravens specifically, it has been a little on the crazier side than it normally is. Still waiting for that Greg Roman announcement, but anyway, uh, first and foremost, uh, Lamar Jackson. John Harbaugh said that he is weak to weak with a knee injury, um, but said it's not likely that he will play versus the Steelers. But they wouldn't rule him out. We know how this story goes. Lamar Jackson ain't playing versus the Steelers. We were just talking about that in the video where we talked about them signing Brett Huntley. That with the signing, it pretty much let us know that Lamar wasn't going to play this week. Harbaugh pretty much let us know Lamar ain't going to play this week. Even though he doesn't want to rule him out. Y'all know how it goes. But it's okay. Uh, so it'll be Tyler Huntley versus the Steelers again. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Also, schedule change. Uh, week and I, I really like this one. Uh, week fifteen, the game against the Browns, Ravens and Browns game that will be played on Saturday, December seventeenth at four thirty p.m. So Saturday, late Saturday afternoon is gonna be Ravens versus Browns. I believe it's on NFL Network. Uh, and another thing, Deshaun Jackson, the Ravens used their three practice squad call ups for Deshaun Jackson, and they out. So they had a tough decision to make. It was either, A, put Deshaun Jackson on the active roster, or if you want to put him back on a practice squad, you have to release him. He would have to clear waivers so nobody would pick him up. And then you can put him back on a practice squad and you could have three more call-ups. But the Ravens said, nope, we ain't taking that risk. We love this guy, Deshaun Jackson, especially for when Lamar Jackson gets back. But we love this guy, Deshaun Jackson, so we signed him to the active roster. So last week, it was Benjamin Victor. To the active roster from practice squad and also Shamar Bridges to the practice squad to back to the practice squad. But this week is Deshaun Jackson being signed to the active roster from the practice squad. So shout out to him and shout out to again, you getting that promotion, that pay raise. Even though we know Deshaun Jackson made a lot of money in his career, it's still always nice to get a bump up in your salary. So, um, back to Harp's presser. Today is Monday, so of course John Harbaugh had his presser, uh, and he spoke about Lamar Jackson. I was surprised. Unless I missed something, I did not hear him speak about it, and I didn't hear anybody ask about the Greg Roman in Stanford. I didn't hear nothing. I wonder if on everybody's seat that was going to the presser, if they put a little paper on everybody's seat that said, do not talk about g -Ro. no, 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 because nobody said Nothing. Nothing. At all, but anyway, we'll keep waiting. But uh, Harbs, he he did bring up um, cause cause of course the 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 pro shape play, the pro play. Uh, they they brought that up. Harbs said that they were trying too hard on that pro shape play. That they were trying to do all to make something happen. Uh, he said that that play really had no chance. He said you don't throw in the four guys, but he is a wide receiver, uh, so I won't hold him too accountable for it. Uh, we'll take that as a coaching. Uh, as coaching, excuse me, saying we can do better with the play calling. And he said it really just didn't have a chance at all. And, you know, I, I, I feel for Proche because I think it was what, you know how you're in a situation where, and you don't get many situations because that's what Proche is now. It's just like Miles Boykin last year uh, and other receivers that are coming and gone. But with Proche, it's like, man, every time I get on the field, Something bad just happens. That's how he's got to be feeling right now. Because it's, it's usually it's a penalty here and there. Um, sometimes he'll get catches, but it's usually a penalty. It's, it's, it's a big time boom or bust. It's like it, there's nothing in the middle when it comes to Proche this year. And you got to feel for him. So I'm sure that might have been going through his head. When they first called the play, he's probably thinking, all right. I got a chance to really make something happen here. I got a, a chance to really win back a lot of people. I got a chance to make a big play. Haven't gotten to really make a big play all year this year. Uh, some penalties have taken away some big plays, but this was his chance at redemption, especially at a game like this, especially because the offense just was doing a bunch of nothing yesterday. So this was Proche's opportunity. So he might have saw two, three, four Broncos down there. He may have seen them, but he was probably like, you know what, man, I'm, I'm hoping for a miracle. Maybe I get a pass interference. Maybe Drake will just... Turn and he'll grow like four or five inches, maybe two feet on this play and just jump through, jump through the air and grab the ball out of the air away from everybody or something. Maybe he was hoping for like a miracle or something, but it just obviously didn't work out. So he threw it up and that was that. And whew, I know like Proche, he is like 
He's not in the doghouse, but he is like standing right in front of it with Harbaugh. You either you got to know he he's he not in there, but he is standing right in front of it, like keeping watch over it or something like that. Cause oh man, it's just you feel for him, man. And that's what when you have such limited opportunities, it's tough. It is really tough. So I hope Proche is in good spirits, man. Um he was asked about Ronnie Stanley. Somebody asked how close Ronnie Stanley was to playing uh, in yesterday's game. Uh, he was, like, very noncommittal about it. Um, but he said that uh, he's hopeful with Ronnie Stanley. So, I mean, I guess we'll start seeing on Wednesday if Ronnie Stanley practices this week. Um, he said that PQ did not want the cart to come out and said that PQ actually got a thigh bruise. Uh, and I saw that um, I know Jonah Schaefer, he put a clip of uh, PQ's Instagram where they gave PQ a, a Grammy Award, I guess, for, for being an actor on that, uh, on that injury play. But um, you know, maybe with the whole cart coming out, too. But PQ was walking out um, the stadium, and he, uh, he looked straight. He had a little bit of a limp or whatnot, but I, I think PQ will be fine. I, I would not be surprised if PQ uh, plays this week, if he starts practicing like on Thursday, if he practices Thursday and Friday and ends up playing. Um, but if they want to hold him out just to be extra precautionary, I get it. But I, I honestly wouldn't expect him to miss. If I don't expect him to miss this game, but if he does miss this game, I would only expect for him to miss this game. I don't think it will be beyond a week. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, but Harbaugh did say that, that he has a thigh bruise, and he said that that is good. Uh, he said, this is what I was like, all right, Harbaugh, I don't believe you, but I'm going to let you do your thing. He said that the Ravens run the, ba the same basic offense with Huntley and Lamar. Um, and then he's just talking about how Huntley got experience now, especially from last year when he played all those games. And and then he was talking about the upcoming Steelers game. He said the team got a lot of confidence uh, in Tyler Huntley. Um, and he said that they, uh, the Ravens as a whole, uh, they're comfortable with their backup QB situation, obviously behind Lamar and then even behind Tyler Huntley. And then, of course, with them adding uh, Brett Huntley now, they got somebody else and they put him on a practice squad. So with that, um, so I guess he takes Deshaun Jackson's spot on a practice squad and Deshaun Jackson takes, ooh, whose spot is he going to take on the active roster? I guess we will find out. Oh, man. I guess by the time you see this video, because this, I'm recording this at 3.43 p.m. Uh, and the transactions, they got to happen by 4. So usually we know around like 4.15. Uh, so we'll see if Ravens put somebody on a on injured reserve because they did put Tylen Wallace on injured reserve last week, but they signed Benjamin Victor to the active roster last week, so they just switched spots. So, ooh, I guess we'll see. Anyway, um, he was also asked about the Ravens being interested in Odell Beckham Jr., uh, and he said that he hasn't really thought about it at all. And I know some people got upset with that. They were like, oh, man, why the Ravens not interested in Odell Beckham Jr.? Even if the Ravens are interested in Odell Beckham Jr., Ravens are not a team that will publicly talk about their interest in a player before that player is signed. Once the player is signed, they'll talk about it. If the player is not signed yet, they won't say a word about it. That's just how it's been. Unless it's one of their own, then they'll do the thing, oh, yeah, we're interested in bringing them back or we're interested in signing, da, da, da. But if it's an outside free agent, they never talk about it ahead of time. So I was not mad at Harbaugh for saying that he hadn't even really thought about Odell Beckham Jr. Um... Now, somebody asked, they were like, oh, when Tyler Huntley came in, it seemed like the Ravens spread things out more. And, yeah, a lot of people noticed that, too, with the personnel, with the play calling and stuff, that they spread it out a lot more. Um, and Harbaugh said that those plays were in the game plan, even with Lamar, based off of the Broncos' defense. And he said it wasn't as much as who was playing quarterback as much as where the game took them. I was like, I don't, I don't know about that one, but hey, it is what it is. We'll see how the game is called this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, we'll look at the snap counts. We'll look at the personnel because it's, it's all very, very telling, man. It's all very, very telling. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, just wanted to get y'all updated. I know that's a... A lot of information all crammed into one, um, and I'm sure more information. Again, by the time you see this video, however long it takes to upload, because these things be taking a little minute. But by the time you see this video, um, it will be even more information coming out. So 
We'll see what it is. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And like Lamar Jackson will be this week when it comes to playing the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm out.